Okay, YouTube, how is it going? I'm making a little video, like quick video, short video. Uh, Cause I have some people asking, and I even went through same phase when I was trying to find out um, if I had an Turbo Two FC Turbo Two RX Seven engine, like Series Four or Series Five. How can you tell? How can you find out uh, what engine or what block do you have? So mainly, if you have, if you don't, if you do not have any exhaust manifold, or the turbo attached, or if the intake manifold is not attached. How can you tell what do you have? If you just have the little sandwich, no accessories, nothing. Use the sandwich by itself, like the block. Let's gonna call it a block. Let's call it a block. If you only have the sandwich or the block, how can you tell what do you have? The Series 4 or Series 5? Uh, the FCRX7 Series 4 Turbo 2, let's, we're going to talk about Turbo 2 only. FCRX7, a Series 4 was made from 1986 to 1988. And the Series 5 was made from 1989 to 1991. I could be wrong, uh, it could be made some 1992s, but I haven't seen them yet. Um, could be the late production, but let's keep it on Series 5 FC, 1989 to 1991. How can you tell what Turbo 2 engine do you have? Okay, first thing, if you have no accessories, nothing attached to the sandwich or the block, the fastest and easiest way you're gonna find out is because the Series 5 Turbo 2 engine has a knock sensor right on top or right above of the uh, spark plug. So it is the spark plug in here and the knock sensor is gonna be around here. So it's right above the, right on top of the um, spark plug. So that's the easiest way to find out if you have the Series 5 uh, Mazda RX-7 Turbo 2 engine. If, uh, remember, I'm just telling you, if the same thing happened to me, I had no turbo, no exhaust, no intake manifold, it was just the verb, this is the block, or, or the engine naked, no accessories, no nothing. So, Series 5, from 89 to 91, knock sensor right on top of the spark plug. If you have the Series 4, you're not going to have a knock sensor on top of the uh, spark plug. And then the simple and easiest way you're gonna find out is gonna be right on top, like on top, on top, where the uh, oil meter pump injector goes. Right next to it is gonna be uh, like a little serial number or some numbers, which is N318, N318. If you have those numbers, that means you have a Series 4 engine. It's a stamp on that one. So remember, Series 4, no knock sensor on N318 that's how you're gonna find out the e simple and easiest way if you have no accessories you have anything I will be throwing some picture on here or on here so you guys can see the series 4 with the uh, letters I'm telling you next to the oil meter pump uh, injector um, is number sorry it's really not right next to it N318 series 4 block on um well earlier I showed you how to clean the housings so um, they're already getting ready, so they will be sent out to good performance. Uh, so they get me ready. I'll be getting them back. Uh, what else is going on? I have a, a pair of rotors from an uh, Mazda RX-8. Um, I will be sending them. I think they're going to Nebraska to one of my subscribers. He said he was rebuilding his engine, so I told him I will be throwing them for free. The only thing I had to do is cover the uh, shipping. He paid what well, like 35 40 bucks for the shipping so I'll be showing you how do you package the rotors so they don't bounce all over the boxes or they don't bump in, they don't bump together so they don't get smashed they don't get dense so they can be nice and safe so Peter hope you enjoy those rotors they're gonna be sent out uh, today is Tuesday the 28 I believe. So it will be sent, um, I'll be stopping by the USPS tomorrow morning. So you'll be getting it by Monday or Tuesday I'm guessing. So hope you enjoy it. And then for you guys, thank you for watching. If you like, comment, subscribe, you're new around here. Let me know what stuff do you guys want to see. Want me to be opening engines, want me to see actual building the engine, how to port. Um, I have new GoPro, I have a new camera. 
mainly most of my videos are being with my cell phone that's the one I'm using right now so just bear with me stay tuned uh, you guys can always like comment subscribe down below even if you want to talk shit let's go ahead so welcome I'm around here don't worry about it the Dorito project is getting alone it's, uh, well, it's I was gonna go NA, but now that I have Turbo 2 S4, so I'm gonna go Turbo now. Stay tuned. I'll be, I will be dropping the, uh, the truck. It's gonna get lower. I'll be dropping some uh, Nissan Titan or Nissan Armada uh, 18s or 17 uh, inch wheels. And, uh, I have already the block, the lowering blocks for the back, the lowering spindles from the front. The four cylinder engine is gonna is coming out maybe this week or next one. I will be painting the engine bay. So yeah, stay tuned. If you like, like, if you know, it's all good. Thank you for watching.